Today, we will learn about distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers. Suppose your father gives you 3 rupees and your mother gives you 2 rupees every day and you collect them in a piggy bank. Can you find out how much money you would have saved in 5 days? There are two ways to solve this. Method 1. Calculate the total amount saved in a day, which is 3 plus 2 rupees. So in 5 days, you will be able to save 5 into 3 plus 2 rupees. The solution to this is 5 into 5, which is equal to 25. Method 2. The other method is first you will find out the total amount given by your father in 5 days and the total amount given by your mother in 5 days. Now add these two values. That is, find the value of 5 into 3 plus 5 into 2. The solution is 15 plus 10, which is 25. Isn't this equal to the first solution? Yes. So can we say that 5 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 into 3 plus 5 into 2? What did you understand from this? Here, the sum of two numbers is split. That means multiplication is distributed over addition. Therefore, for any three whole numbers A, B and C, A into B plus C can be distributed as A into B plus A into C. This is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Can multiplication also be distributed over subtraction? Think for a while. Let's understand this. Suppose your father gives you 3 rupees every day and you spend 2 rupees of it every day. Then, what is the amount you would save in 5 days? We can solve this also in two ways. The first method, 5 into 3 minus 2, gives you 5 as the answer. And the second method, 5 into 3 minus 5 into 2, also gives 15 minus 10, that is 5 is the answer. Here, 5 into 3 minus 2 is equal to 5 into 3 minus 5 into 2. Therefore, multiplication can also be distributed over subtraction. This shows that for any three whole numbers, A, B and C, A into B minus C can be distributed as A into B minus A into C. This is called the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Today, we have learned about distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers. In the next video, we will see some examples of this property. Today, we will see examples of distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers. 1 litre milk costing 35 rupees and 1 packet of biscuit costing 15 rupees are bought every day at Sachin's house. Can you find out the expense on these items in 7 days? Method 1 To solve this, we will find the total expenditure of one day, that is, the cost of one litre of milk plus the cost of one packet of biscuits, 35 plus 15. Now how do we find the expenditure for seven days? Think for a while. We have to multiply the total expenditure of one day, that is, 35 plus 15 by 7. 7 into 35 plus 15. After simplification, we get 7 into 50, which is equal to 350 rupees. Method 2. First, we will find the amount spent on milk in 7 days, which will be 7 into 35. Similarly, 
we will find the amount spent on the packet of biscuits in 7 days which will be 7 into 15 then we will add them and get the total expenditure total expenditure is equal to 7 into 35 plus 7 into 15 which is equal to 245 plus 105 which is equal to 350 thus the total expenditure obtained by both methods are the same in this way 7 into 35 plus 15 is equal to 7 into 35 plus 7 into 15 this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition the next example the daily income of harish's father is 315 rupees can you find out his annual income in this example it is given that harish's father's daily income is 315 we have to find out what his annual income is we know that there are 365 days in a year hence his annual income will be 315 into 365 finding the product of these two values seems difficult but when we apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition we can solve it easily that is 315 into 365 can be written as 315 into 300 plus 60 plus 5 here how do we apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition think for a while by distributivity of multiplication over addition we can write it as follows solving this we get the annual income as 114975 rupees next example find the value of 5 into 78 using the distributive property we can write 5 into 78 as 5 into 80 minus 2 This can be written as 5 into 80 minus 5 into 2 by the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Solving this, we get 400 minus 10, which is equal to 390. Therefore, by using the distributive property, we can find the solutions very easily. Today, we have seen examples of distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers in the next video we will highlight some of the misconceptions related to this today we will see some misconceptions related to distributive property of multiplication of whole numbers misconception 1 which of the following expansion is correct for 2 into 188 Sometimes distribution is understood as separating the digits and option 1 which is an incorrect answer is chosen similarly instead of adding the digits they are multiplied and option 2 which is also an incorrect answer is chosen with the correct understanding option 3 is chosen which is the correct answer sometimes the usage of brackets is considered unnecessary and they are ignored and the given numbers are expressed as in option 4 this is also an incorrect answer misconception 2 how can we distribute 12 into 5 plus 7 while using distributive property we need to multiply the numbers inside the brackets with the number outside the brackets with this understanding option 2 is chosen which is the correct answer due to confusion in understanding the distributive property Sometimes the number outside the brackets is simply multiplied with the numbers inside the bracket. This is an incorrect way. Similarly, while distributing multiplication over addition, plus sign is written between the numbers inside the bracket, and the multiplication sign is written outside the brackets. This is also incorrect. Misconception three: Which of the following expression is equal to 102 into 18 plus 102 into 32 while taking 102 as a common term from 102 into 18 plus 102 into 32 102 in the first bracket is added to 102 in the second bracket therefore option 1 is incorrect 
The correct understanding is that the common number is written outside the brackets and the number which we multiplied it to are added and written inside the brackets. With this understanding, option 2 is the correct answer. Some important points related to distributive property. Sometimes there will be no correct understanding of distributive property or sometimes it is just considered as a rule. Because of this reason, it is not applied to simplify the multiplication. In our daily life, we come across many situations where we can use the distributive property to multiply two numbers without manually multiplying the numbers on paper. That is why this is an important property. Today, we have seen some misconceptions related to distributive property of multiplication of whole numbers.